Okay folks, in this uh, video um, we're just going to talk about how to put a polynomial in descending order. Whoops, my pen doesn't seem to be working here. Descending order and state the degree. Okay, in the last video uh, we talked about the basic shapes of polynomials. Um, in that video I did talk a little bit about degree. Okay. But in this situation here, this polynomial is a little more complicated here than the ones we were looking at in the previous video. So in this video, what you do is you look around and you look at the different uh, exponents here. We've got a 2 here, we've got a 3 here, and over here we have an invisible 1. Okay. What you do is you take the polynomial with the greatest degree, okay, the biggest one, which in this case is 3. So the degree of this polynomial is 3. Okay, and we learned in the last video about basic shapes about polynomials is when something is of degree 3 or degree or a degree that is odd, they're all going to start in this quadrant here. They're going to make their way over here and then end up going up to the right. Okay, the only thing, there's a trick in this one, there is a negative sign in front of this which means this thing here is going to flip. It's going to flip upside down. So it's actually, um, it's actually going to look more like a mirror image of what I just wrote. Okay, it'll kind of go like that. Okay, because it's flipped, there's that negative sign in the front. Now when I say negative sign in the front, that's probably a good place to start regarding putting this thing in descending order. Okay, I'm going to clear this writing. What descending order means is we're going to uh, write this polynomial in a way where the highest degree goes first. Okay, so this is a term here, negative 2x cubed is a term, and there are one, two, three, four terms here, and we're going to write the one with the greatest degree first. Sometimes you're going to get questions that have an x and also a y. In that case, uh, you can put things in the order like let's say you had a y cubed and an x cubed, you could put the x first before the y cubed because x comes before y in the alphabet. Okay, alphabetical order. Okay, anyway, let's go back to putting this one in descending order. We're done with this one. Okay, we've put it right there. What's the next lower degree after 3? Well, I see a 2 right here. Say this one here could go next. And scratch it out now. What's next? Negative 6 or 5x? Well, it would be 5x. Okay? And it's a positive 5x. And on the end, we have a negative 6 or a minus 6. Okay? Now, here it is. It's in descending order, and the degree is 3. Okay? Just for fun, let's verify that this thing really does start up here and go down like that. Okay, it's not going to look like this, but it's going to kind of follow this pattern of starting in the second quadrant and ending up down in the fourth quadrant, heading downwards forever. Okay, I'm going to click on Desmos here, the fancy dancy graphing calculator, and I'm going to, yeah, sure enough, it looks good. I'm going to zoom out. This is what this graph looks like. Okay, you can verify that I typed it in correctly over here. Hopefully, I did. Yes, I think I did, and uh, yeah, here's here's a nice graph of that situation. Desmos is very useful. Okay, you'd think I worked for Desmos the way I talk about it. Have a great day, people. This is a short video, just introducing this idea. Take care.